When the world hears Sri Lanka, they think tourism. The sandy beaches and the beautiful weather, it's always been a magnet for Sri Lanka to be one of the prime locations that people come visit just to have a wonderfully relaxing time. So tourism in Sri Lanka is considered to be one of the backbones of the economy, as you can imagine. Today, we are here at the BMICH for the Hotel Show Colombo 2019 the 14th edition of this show and the progress that it's made over the last 10 years since 1998 actually is amazing. We'll be speaking to the chairman as well as key individuals who helped bring this thing together and make it the success that it has been. Very specifically, it was a sponsor brought together by the Ceylon Hotel School Graduates Association as well as the Ministry of Tourism Development. Other mentions we have to make are for Bocus Dior as well as the concurrent events that are taking place. There's a whole lot going on, very exciting atmosphere, great crowd, we're going to have a good time, so please stay tuned. privilege of speaking with the visionary uh, of this show, the hotel show, Mr. Trevine Gomez. Sir, thank you very much for spending a few moments with me. Um, tell me now, I heard that you've been running the show, so to speak, um, for 10 years now. Tell us a little bit about how you've seen the show evolve over the years. Well, I think uh, we've, when I first took over, many, I think it's about 13, 14 years ago, is that when we came and uh, that was during the time of uh, troubles in Sri Lanka and then we took over from a static exhibition which had uh, just a few stalls and uh, everyone comes and displays their wear. So that was all uh, a static exhibition and since uh, recently we have started many different activities that correlate to this and as we are from the Ceylon Hotel School Graduates Association which organizes this, we also spend time in training, teaching people and the hospitality personnel to make them more professionals, much better people. So with that, uh, my co-chairman Roshan said, let's do a coffee contest. And that's how it, with humble beginnings that we started the barista competition today. It's national barista championship and we have, it's run on to international standards with the, the world barista championship judges coming to judge our event. So that is the scope and things that we have taken it into and to grow the industry. The coffee culture is very strong and that we grew. And a couple of years ago, we started also something called Room Stylist Contest, which nobody has done anything for the housekeeping. You know, when you go to a hotel, nobody knows what the room boy or the room girl has done. And uh, this is what we started the contest to uplift them as well. So we have an innovative turn down and that was something we started new. And uh, last year we started something, I said we are doing coffee, but nothing for our best brand that is Ceylon Tea. So we started the Ceylon Tea Masters Cup. And we did it uh, last year in Colombo, but this year we have taken it regionally and we have trained people, over 500 people have been trained with all these contests around Sri Lanka. And we've gone around to six regions, done the training, done the regional competitions and the finals being held now with the hotel show. So, Fantastic. So we have tea masters like that. And uh, this year we also have the Bar Chance program. So that's again another new one, addition to what we've been doing. So it's uh, finally the hotel show is a very, very interactive uh, show. It's not only just an exhibition, we have so many master classes. All these international judges conduct master classes to train again these people. We had a coffee master class, to now we have a housekeeping master class that's taking place. With the United States Department of Agriculture, we had a seasonal fest with U.S. products. So yesterday we had uh, desserts, so a lot of apple pie being made with uh, U.S. apples. And uh, today we had with turkey and duck and all, all that goes with it.
culture. And the individual who's responsible for the very first cafe in Sri Lanka is who I have with me today, right now, Mr. Niroshan De Silva, who also happens to be the co-chairman of the hotel show Colombo. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're very busy, so I appreciate you taking a moment. Tell us about coffee in Sri Lanka to start off with. Well, thank you very much for that introduction. Coffee has been an accident to me, but then I end up loving it. I would say 20 years now, uh, back in 1999, we opened our first proper international cafe in Sri Lanka. And uh, from that, I realized that we are, a, we are a beautiful country. There is a lot of sun and you need to have character. And in which we felt that uh, alfresco dining was something which was really catching up. So we started doing the coffee seriously. And uh, I was kind of instrumental in realizing that we need to also give them the technical know-how and uh, the young budding baristas in our country needed a platform. So I, being the co-chairman of Hotel Show, I realized that you know it is my duty to start something, a competition where we can actually compete with the global uh, competitors. So then, then that thought, with about five years competitions now we have done, uh, this is the 14th edition of Hotel Show and uh, this competition has taken us to places which we never thought we will go. And uh, today the content has been brilliant. Uh, the kind of guys we have is amazing. And uh, what you see is absolute class and innovation that we being a nation can always compete with anybody. We have got judges from World Barista competition. We, our head judge is from World Barista League of judges and all the other judges are from overseas who have come to give the kind of technical know-how and to judge them seriously. So I was just going to ask how would you say we stand on an international platform which you've already answered. Now let me ask you this, in terms of training our young ones um, who have a passion to become a barrister, do we provide that kind of training here in Sri Lanka or do they have to go overseas? Yes, uh, running into this competition we have covered 25 districts across Sri Lanka. We have gone into all the regions, captured all five-star hotels and all the cafes and bars. And we have had our competition in Central, North, South, deep down South, East and West. So we have covered everywhere. Every competition before we start, we give them a technical training. And we teach them the art of making coffee, but not only just stand in front of a beautiful machine like this, but also understand the content of the overall performance. So we have uh, technical judges who will spend a lot of quality time teaching them. Plus also we have uh, certain coffee masters who have been there, done that earlier. They'll come and teach them how to, you know, do this showmanship, which is uh, otherwise a challenge. So training, huge amount of investment going into our training. We are also, I'm also a, a member of Ceylon Hotel School Graduates Association. So we at the hotel school train and develop this young budding baristas and give them the technical know-how um, which they can be really equipped with and be proud of. Fantastic. Well, congratulations to you. I love the vibe and of course, myself, coffee is so important. I can't kickstart my day without any. So I owe you a big thank you. Absolutely. And pleasure having you guys and looking forward to make you and give you enough coffee. the absolute honor of speaking with Miss Cadence Sim. She is one of the most senior judges here at the competition. Thank you so much for your time. Now tell us a little bit about the competition and I heard that the winner of today's competition will actually be uh, taken to Singapore, is it, for another international level competition. So give me a little bit of information about that. Sure. Um, so basically uh, this is Sri Lanka's uh, the only national championship so they have gone through a few regionals and now they are at the uh, national level competing among eight competitors. So th the format is exactly the same format as we use for the World Championship so as to nurture the entire uh, specialty coffee industry here in Sri Lanka. So the champion goes to uh, another competition held in Singapore next year, March 2020, 
uh, in the Food and Hotel Asia, FHA show. And also, I will be also the head judge for FHA. So I look forward to see the champion again next year. Fantastic. So you are going to be heading up the judging overseas as well. You came all the way to Sri Lanka. Uh, I suppose you would be the best person to ask, how do we rank? Just generally speaking, in terms of the talent, the skill base, what, what would you say about Sri Lankan? Um, I can see that there's a lot of uh, growth since last year because uh, two years ago I was also judging in the FHA uh, 2018 where I have also judged uh, one of the few uh, Sri Lankan competitors, competitors and we have seen that the um, level has increased a lot and a lot, of a lot of competitors are bringing their own coffees which is good and also they are able to showcase their stories and teams to the judges which I think it is a huge improvement and we are closer and closer to what we have at the uh, world level. Fantastic, well that's very encouraging. Thank you very much for your time and wish you all the very best. Thank you very much too. Judges at the Bar Champs Academy competition is Mr. Jeremy Samarasekara, based in Dubai but here in Sri Lanka. Grew up in Sri Lanka and I feel wanted to give back, I feel. Is that right? That's why I'm here, yeah. So um, I heard that this is actually the semi finals of a much bigger competition. Tell us a little bit about the build up and how you made your selections. Uh, well, the competition started almost two months ago, um, which covered the entire Sri Lanka. We started in the Central Hills. Uh, moved to uh, the down south and then we had the cultural triangle and the, uh, and the north and then we had Nigambo and then we had Colombo. So we found uh, talented Sri Lankan bar barmaids and bartenders around Sri Lanka and we, uh, we, cho we had plenty of competitors uh, and we chose the best. What sort of numbers did it pull down to? How many entrants did you have at the beginning? And how many have made it through to the semi-finals? Well, for the semi-finals, uh, 19 of them has made the cut. And today, after the semis, the for the finals on the 2nd of December, it will come down to six. Fantastic. Now, looking from an international perspective, I always ask this question, where do you think we rank in terms of skill base? Well, Sri Lankans are truly talented. And I think uh, out of 10, I can give nine. So I have with me now the sponsor of uh, this uh, Bar Academy uh, Champs. So tell me, who are you? Uh, I'm Charuka Senanayak and I'm the marketing manager for Purnarika Lanka. Okay. Now, why do you feel it's important to have such competitions here in Sri Lanka? I think uh, we see a lot of talent. What we realize is that there's so much of talent here. It says that sometimes they don't have the ideal platform to you know come out and show their talent. So as a pioneer in the industry, I think this is one of the best platforms that we can, as, 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 as you know, one of the pioneers in the industry, this is something that we can help them out with, you know, create the, the platform for them to come out and you know, show their skills to everyone. How would you say we uh, stand next to an international platform? Where would we rank? Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that we are there, but obviously there's, you know, there's room for improvements. But I think in terms of skill, we've seen quite a lot of people with coming up with, uh, you know, using ingredients that we've never even thought of that you can use in a cocktail. So, I mean, in terms of skills, yes, we've got the people, we've got the skills. And yeah, I think, you know, we can actually pull it off. It's so you're seeing a creative level that can be uh, identified as Sri Lanka. Definitely, it's unique. If you can just go through the table and see the cocktails that they've done, it's truly unique.
So I managed to find the only female competitor in the Bar Champs Academy. Miss Rasika, thank you for spending a few moments yes, with us. So yes. Tell us a little bit about your experience in a male-dominated industry. Yes. What has it been like for you in Sri Lanka? In Sri Lanka, it's, uh, it's my target. It's, uh, I'm in a, uh, from Kandalama Hotel and this is my 10 years experience here. And I want uh, it's a uh, big task in Sri Lanka. It's uh, FMB manager. Uh, in next level. Not bartenders, it's only uh, males. I'm the female and I I'm proud of this. Fantastic. Yes. Well, it's an honor to speak to you yes. and I wish you all the very best. Thank keep you. on with that fire. I see a fire coming out of you, yes. so thank keep you. it up. Yeah, thank you. I found Miss Anushika here at the Bar Champs Academy, part of the hotel show. Uh, tell us, what's your experience been so far? So still I'm not, I'm undergraduate, so it's a good experience to be here, to see the things which, which, which is going in the industry. So it's, I think uh, all the people who are still studying, as I'm an undergraduate, for the people who are st all studying, it's a good experience to come here and to see, see the shows and to get the experience, how the bartenders are working, what are the new things that they are coming with up. So, so many things are there to, learn so it's a good experience for us to have those experience those techniques to sh see and to have a good idea regarding the industry regarding the bar champs this competition it's a good good opportunity for us to be here thank you so much Anushka and good luck to you on your journey as a part of the hospitality industry Taking it easy now with Celsius, I have with me the Managing Director, Kamal Doyle. Thank you so much for your time. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself right now. You're a very familiar brand in Sri Lanka. Everybody knows you, but you've recently ventured out into some new things. Tell us a little bit about those new ventures. Okay. Um, so, okay, we pioneered the bedding concept in Sri Lanka. Before we came into the market, there was no actually a brand and a pillow was just a pillow. So we took it to a different level and now we have a big range of products in Sri Lanka as well as now we export. Uh, we export to Maldives, we have a good clientele there, we have a shop there as well and now we are exporting organic linen to Netherlands and to seashells. So we have taken the whole budding concept in Sri Lanka to a different level now outside Sri Lanka as well. So at this exhibition, since everybody knows that the hotels keep buying from us, uh, we wanted to tell them what new things that we have done and how we can help the Sri Lankan hotelier to differentiate themselves with you, by using our products. So one such initiative is that we have developed a product uh, where you know plastic is a menace and water bottles, pet bottles in particular because it's all over the place, it's clogging the drains, it can be in the beaches and all that. So you're working with a company who collects these bottles from the rivers, the shores and everywhere in Sri Lanka. They crush it and then they make a chip out of it. So what we get them to do is, we get them to collect the chip and make a yarn. So this, this is a yarn or a thread and we get this yarn from them and we make a fabric. Out of the fabric, now we turn around, turn up uh, different different products. And one such product is, uh, okay, this cushion. So this cushion, I'm proud to say, is probably the first of its kind in Sri Lanka. It's 100% recycled. What's inside as well as what's outside. Um, so, and um, this is our contribution for a more sustainable initiative. Okay, everybody's working towards reducing plastic, but what do you do what, what is already there? So these are products, by-products that can be made out of. And as a company, uh, six months from now, we have taken an initiative, whatever the cushions that we do, the throw cushions, will only be recycled. We'll be only having recycled products. That's fantastic. Can I have a feel just to... It feels very natural, very, I mean, you, you wouldn't be... Absolutely no different to a standard cushion, just that you're contributing something to the to protect the environment uh, and you will stop you know, uh, you know, messing up the beaches and the rivers of Sri Lanka by moving into this kind of product. That is absolutely fabulous. Well, congratulations on that venture and good luck to you in the coming year and uh, congratulations on sustaining yourself. Thank and you, thank you so much.
with me here the general manager of Colombo Coffee Company, Mr. Leon Kirti Singha. Thank you so much for your time. Now, um, tell us what part are you playing at the Hotel Show Colombo this year? Uh, so we have come forward as the as a gold sponsor and the official coffee partner for Colombo uh, for the uh, Hotel Show. 2019 and uh, also as the sole sponsor for the National Barista Championship. So as the leader of the coffee industry, as the only total coffee solution provider in the country, we always take part in this particular show because we want to support the industry to grow and we bring a lot of solutions, new products and services to educate uh, the industry on how you can use coffee as a solution in your hotel, restaurant, uh, cafe, office and expand your opportunities and we have also taken part actively in the Barista Championship. We actually got together with the team six years back and formed this competition. We are flying in foreign judges uh, and we are supporting them to send the representative who wins, representing Sri Lanka in an international arena every year as well. So we are doing all this because we are very passionate about the coffee industry and we actually want to help the Sri Lankan coffee industry to grow. And not only that, we, uh, we want to do justice to the Sri Lankan coffee that we have. So being the leader in the industry, what we've done is we've uh, selected the best coffee in the island and under a brand name called Toscana Ceylon, roasted to an Italian recipe, we have created a master blend which has the ability to go into the international market. And uh, we actually have that also featured uh, at our uh, brewing stations. And that is also one of the key flagship products that we are showcasing in addition to our flagship product which is the Lavazza brand name which is very popular in Sri Lanka. So we have a visitor to the show, Mr. Isuru Panditratna. Tell us, uh, what is your impression, your first impressions been? Yeah, actually, uh, once I came here, actually, it's, I think it's feel better because uh, it's very important for the tourism industry, I guess, this, this kind of exhibition. So I think it's that great. Uh, I actually, I must thank for the organizers who have organized this. Actually, it's give an added advantage to the tourism industry and for the hotels here. Fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. Shaze, with me I have the head of global B2B business, Mr. Ajay Jha. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate your time to just share with us what you're about and why you're here at the show. Tell us a little bit about Shaze. Let me, let me tell you, uh, you know, Shaze, we are into luxury lifestyle uh, brand and, and uh, we are from India. And in India, Shaze is a big name in terms of luxury, providing luxury experience to our consumer. And, and we believe in our uh, design and that's our USP. You know, we, we are trying to bridge that gap which was already there between you know, Horeca business and, and uh, where people used to say, oh, show me something new which is not there, which is not available, where people should have a wow factor. So that's as a part of result, uh, we launched our, our new Horeca collections which is a hosting collections, you know. And hosting means uh, we are trying to give experience to our consumer patrons, hoteliers, where they can host their or every individual customer, okay? okay? So that's the idea behind coming up with these kind of hosting collections. Fantastic. Well, I love your range. Your booth definitely stands out, and that's why we're drawn to you. Um, now tell us, in Sri Lanka, what sort of presents have you made so far? Since uh, this luxury collections we have recently launched, so that's why we realized that Sri Lanka could be one of the uh, good market where now uh, considering your, you know, uh, tourist tourism and then the hotel industry is growing day by day. So we realize I think Sri Lanka could be one of the uh, strategic market which can give us uh, good uh, business. And that's why we realize I think I think we should uh, tap Sri Lanka market as well. And that was one of the reason we came here uh, for exhibition. <laughs> chilling 
hang out amidst this beautiful, colourful display. I have with me the owner's daughter, Ishangi Agamage. It's literally a takeover situation, aka Hubble, she tells me. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Now, this is a family business, I'm told. Tell us a little bit about the brand and um, why you're here in Sri Lanka, uh, why you're passionate about this particular brand. So, our company name is Discari and we are known to bring down this brand called Sombrella. So we have the indoor and outdoor fabric. And with that fabric, we manufacture all these cushion products, umbrellas and sachets for hotels, resorts, and also residents. So it's actually manufactured in Sri Lanka? Yeah. So we also um, are keen on quality. So we use our UV resistant thread, by KK zippers, and all that. So to ensure quality is good. Fantastic. Now you've obviously made your mark in Sri Lanka. What's your distribution like? Where would we find your products? So we are also very popular in Maldives. So we um, supply to about 50 resorts there. And also Aiken Spence, they're also popular there. So they're also our customers. So yeah. Fantastic. Now, if I was to ask you the question, um, there's obviously a lot of competition here in Sri Lanka because tourism is, uh, you know, our main game. What makes you different to your competitors? So, uh, so my dad and I basically run the show. So our commitment towards our customers is uh, we're keen on commitment because we want to keep our reputation out there and like stick to our word and also, you know, we want to keep growing and also help everyone else along the way. So the passion that does stream through. Yeah, so our thing is to make people happy. So dad always says we're here to make people happy. So Fantastic. And what is your dad's name? Buddhika Gamage. He is officially the owner of the business. However, the, the machine behind the madness is this beautiful young lady here. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. We're here in the booth for D Lanka, partnering with MKN. Chef Nine is with me. Hi. Tell us a little bit about what you do, what you're about. Hi, I, I good. Hello, uh, Sri Lanka. I'm. We are representing the uh, uh, MKN kitchen equipment from Germany. Okay, we are working together with our partner, D Lanka, so to bring one of the good machine to town. So we have a uh, flexi combi is it with behind you and also the flexi chef, the pressure cooking flat pan also. So those two machines is multiple cooking function, providing a better service, better quality and better uh, 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 operation efficiency into the operation. Fantastic. Yeah. How long have you been in Sri Lanka? Uh, very long, three days. <laughs> Yeah, especially for this show. Especially for this show. Fantastic. Yep. So you, you do have um, a base here in Sri Lanka where people can actually go yes, to certainly. and actually touch the equipment, see it working? Everything is covered in the uh, Sri Lanka market anyway. We're working with, with a partner, uh, doing installation and after service, very important, right? And we also have the stockists here, even the big stockists in Singapore. So you can order our spare part online as well. So everything is covered. We're here at the booth for Basila Tea. I'm here with Madhuri Amra Singh, one of the marketing executives for the company. Thank you for spending a few moments with us. Tell us a little bit about why you felt it was important to be here at the show. Uh, this is uh, the hotel show that we are participating in. We have participated previously also in previous few years and uh, it's a good opportunity for us to uh, cater to the local Sri Lankan market because we are uh, very popular internationally. The Basila brand is popular. We are sending our teas to around 76 countries around the world. So in Sri Lanka we are newly launching our product so it's a good opportunity for us to participate for this uh, show. Now Sri Lanka is known for its tea. Um, where do you think you rank in terms of uh, your competitors? Um, quality wise uh, we, we think that we are way above all the competitors yeah. and uh, it's a premium tea brand.
Welcome to the South Asia largest hotel show, 14th edition. This year, the 2019 edition, we are having an exhibition which comprises of variety of suppliers which involved in the hotel trade, the and the services and the education sector. In addition, we are having concurrent events, which includes the food and beverage sector, uh, kitchen, as well as housekeeping. In addition, we are conducting master classes for the industry students and the, I mean the people who is involved in the industry. We, are, we have already con concluded uh, barista, national barista champion master class. In addition, we will be con conducting a master class for the pro products of US uh, starters and desserts and the main courses conducted by the award winning chefs and in addition we will have a room stylist uh, master class as well. So with regard to Hotel Show 2019, I would like to say uh, that we are heading for the third successful day and it is a great achievement, a great success this year too. Starting way back in 1998. So this is the 14th time we are having this uh, great mega event, annual event. This time we have over 200 uh, stallholders attending, attending this exhibition and uh, the, the amount of enthusiasm shown from the hoteliers, uh, caterers, the bakers and also the exhibitors. It's, it's amazing, despite you know some of the uh, situations, uh, challenges that we had to face uh, during the last few months. So I'm very happy and I'm very proud, humbly proud of uh, this great show and my sincere thanks and appreciation and congratulations to the Hotel Show Committee headed by Mr. Gomez and Niroshan De Silva and next year we'll be back again with a, another mega show which will be two times bigger than the current uh, year. So all the very best to the Hotel Show. It's a great show happening from uh, 12th for these three days and it's a good platform for the hoteliers to get to know about the new products and services available in Sri Lanka and also uh, internationally and from the hotel school point of view a lot of students are here and it's really uh, educative for them because they can get to know the products available, new products and the new services available and all new technology here and a lot of students are here from the school and uh, there are a lot of concurrent events happening. The barista, the tea masters, and the room stylish, and the bar champs. So that's another opportunity for everybody to see what's happening and also to develop their talents. So a lot of, lot of students are participating. At the same time, there are a lot of uh, master classes happening in all these areas, in room stylish, uh, bar champ, bartending, coffee, uh, tea and uh, also menu planning and all that so a lot of classes are happening a lot of students are there hotel show 2019 is the 14th edition that we have been having and this is one of one of the the greatest events done by the Ceylon hotel school graduates association and it which is which has been done with so many participants when the participants from Sri Lanka and overseas and the purpose of this mega event is to get all the suppliers under one roof where the hotels and the restaurants and whoever who is interested in hospitality where they can buy they can see they can venture into businesses this event has been organized with many more concurrent events and one such is the room studies in competition 
which was concluded yesterday. Now the room stylist competition is done to bring the standards of the housekeeping personnel to the, to the limelight. Because housekeeping people are the backbone of the hospitality industry. So these people are mostly forgotten and CHSGA, which is the Ceylon Hotel School Graduates Association, who are the organizers of this mega event, they have given a new life to the all the housekeeping personnel. And it was a very good show. First of all, congratulate the Ceylon Hotel Schools Graduates Association for holding the uh, 14th uh, edition of this uh, hotel show. And we are really proud to be partnering with the CHSGA for this event. Uh, year by year, we can see the developments. And this year, despite the setbacks we have had in the country, I would like to congratulate the uh, CHSGA for taking the initiative the courage to actually go ahead this year and uh, we can see the number of uh, participants who are growing and all the competitions year by year getting better and all the uh, international people involved in judging shows you know the quality of these uh, competitions and we hope in the future this will grow even more and uh, Ceylon Hotel Schools Graduate Association and uh, Slidham will grow their partnership for better this thing. Thank you very much and I wish all the success for the hotel show. Well that brings us to the end of this edition here at the Hotel Show Colombo 2019. It has been an absolutely wonderful day to see where tourism is heading in the next few years even. We really are excited to be here and grateful to be able to see the future almost. The slogan for the show was invigorating tomorrow's hospitality today and I think everyone who came has been inspired. Thank you for joining us and do look forward to the next edition. I'm Nalanga Dhanapala for high events, high TV.